Welcome, welcome back, my fearless ones. I'm super excited about this video right here, okay, you guys? Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the Fearless family. Go ahead and turn on that notification. If you're new to this channel and you found me based off the title, I want you to go ahead and subscribe. This channel is about finances, working from home or from anywhere like myself and business and personal credit. So I'm currently on a mission to find funding for all of my current business owners, future business owners and potential business owners because I am always, always an advocate for people having multiple streams of income just in case one dry up, slow up or whatever or some change in the algorithm of whatever you're doing, you'll have some other monies coming in from somewhere else. So this is something that I actually use for my e-commerce business. And you guys, I always insert a little bit about myself in the videos and that's to help you get to know who I am and where I come from and how I probably once was in your shoes when it comes to funding, building a business or just trying to make some extra income. Okay. So I use this company to private label a brand for my e-com. Um, I didn't want to use like AliExpress or, or vendors list. You know, I started out that way. I did. And once my company got traction, I decided, okay, I wanted to find an evergreen product. An evergreen product is something people use all the time. Um, toupees, shampoo, soap, those are evergreen products. That's something that people are going to always buy, especially if they find a brand that they really like. Right. So I decided to find an evergreen and I private labeled it. Well, when it comes to private label, you have to order your products in quantities. They don't do like, um, uh, drop ship for you or, or pay to order or something like that. No, you order in bulk and they send it to you. They send it to your fulfillment centers. So how did I do it? I went and I, I worked with my team of people until we decided what worked for me. And then the product was mass produced labels and everything, all the content on the labels, everything. It, it, it was, it took some time, but I was able to do it. Right. So at that point they gave me an invoice and said, okay, this is what you owe Latasha. Okay. So that's where equipment funding because that's considered equipment to run your business right you go and you have them your distributor send the invoice to the equipment financing company that you're working with which the link will be below if you don't want to finish this video you just want to go ahead and go over there right but they then then pay off the full balance right at that point the distributor ship the products to you and now you deal with the finance company directly to set up some type of payment plan payment plans vary so i can't really talk about that interest rate vary i can't really talk about that but what i can tell you is that you have this really great idea and you don't have any funding this is what you need to do if i had these opportunities 12 years ago or 10 years ago Again, I can't stress enough. I probably would have a franchise by now because I had a cell phone company and this would have came in handy because cell phones, when you order them in bulk, cell phones are equipment. So who would qualify for this um, loan? Equipment financing. Um, anyone that has, the, oh, I always go to lawn care, food trucks. So if you want to buy a food truck, this is what you need. If you need a stove, a deep fryer, you know, you need booths, you need chairs, you need things for your restaurant. This is the type of loan that's good for you. You are a candidate for this loan, you guys. I can't tell you all the requirements, but I can give you a general idea of what the qualifications are. Once you enter in your information, they will connect you with the right bank. This particular company that I'm working with has 75 funding sources for you. So they enter in your information and then they find a company that will fund you. Okay. And remember, we do not hard pull, we soft pull. Okay. So it's just, we, we're just taking a look at your credit to see where you stand. Cause one or two things will happen. If you have low credit, 
then you need to show that your business is bringing in revenue. If you have a decent credit score, then they can work around you not having any revenue. So let's just say you're a startup company and you haven't generated any revenue, then we at least need to have a decent credit score to get you funded. But let's just say if you have already started and you're making revenue and you can prove it through statements, then, then they can work around your credit. If that, if you have to look at this video again, look at it again. Okay. Let me just give you a synopsis of what, who this is good for and what the, again, what the qualifications are. It has monthly payments, long-term payments, low to zero down payments. Okay. And the minimum time in business, none. So if you're just starting, you already got your business license and you already got that virtual business address. Um, because if you own like a food truck, a lawn company, um, meals on wheel type, type business, and you're a mobile business, you don't really have a brick and mortar storefront. You need a virtual address. That link will be below as well. So no minimum time in business, at least a 580 in your FICO score, no minimum annual gross revenue, you guys. So that means that you don't even have to show that you have any income coming in. So this is for the startup startup. This is you just, you just finished plumbing school. You just finished trade school and you want to open up your own plumbing company. You don't want to work for anyone else, but you don't have all the equipment. You don't have the snake equipment to go in and snake people's plumbing. You don't have, you know, drills and trucks and, and things like that. This is the business loan that you need. Funding goes from 10,000 to 5 million. The terms of the loan start from one to five years. Funding usually within one to five business days. And I know some people will say, well, I can just go to my bank. Again, previous video, most banks do not approve every loan. Even if you've been with them, you've had a business account with them for three to five years or whatever, they can only fund so many businesses. So you have to outsource, right? Business, your, your business, your community business bank is fine. Get a credit card with them. That's your everyday, you know, cash flow, your everyday things like gas. And you may have to go to Lowe's and pick up some, 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 screws or something for your business fine use your business credit card there but we talking about this this loan this funding will give you that heavy lift that you need to actually get the big equipment that you can't afford you own a bakery and the the oven is very expensive and you don't have the funding for it this is it right here you guys this is it this is a game changer like i said if i had this company years ago Woo, it would have changed because I was actually cash flowing my inventory. I went and bought all of my inventory myself with like my cash, my personal credit card. I didn't even have business credit at that time, but had I had it, then I could have scaled my business and it would have been sustainable. Okay. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to we're trying to help you fund your business so we can scale it and, and make it into something big. Whatever that dream is you have for your business, maybe you own, you want a plumbing company, electrical company, um, things be service, man. They make a, a lot of money and it's high demand. Cause usually when I need something service, I have to make an appointment and it take them two to three days to come out. Maybe you do HVAC and you need three trucks, but it's only one. So if you have three trucks, you can hire three men and three times, you can make three times the revenue because now you have cloned yourself because you have the equipment to do so. Okay. You guys, so I'm really, really excited about this for you. I'm excited for you. Okay. I was just looking over the paperwork. It says it doesn't require businesses to pay out of pocket, large amounts of, um, cash, um, amounts of cash, ultimately freeing up your working capital within your business. Equipment finance is based on the value of the equipment and the business affordability. Like all you have to do is, like I said, click the link below and I will have a link that the, the description will say equipment financing next to it. Click it and put, put in your information. Remember, this is a soft pool. We're not going to pull hard from your credit. So it won't affect your credit score. And then we will go out 
to different banks or different funding sources to see what we can do to get your equipment funded. I think I just listed everything. Even if you're like a salon owner, you need new chairs, shampoo bowls. Um, yeah, just if you're a business and you, you need equipment, you are a photographer and you need camera equipment, you need microphones, you need lighting, you need, you know, studio equipment. This is it for you guys. You might own a production company. You decided you wanted to start your own production company and help local artists, you know, you know, build up a brand and become, you know, the next, I don't know, Cardi B or whatever, but you, you have the funding source. So click the link below. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I got more new content to come, you guys. Until next time, stay fearless. Bye.